Well, hello there, my fellow wastelanders. Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I will be telling you everything you need to know about the Gatling gun in Fallout 76, how to obtain it, how to obtain its plans, and its mods. So, before we start, make sure that you're sub, turn the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So, for obtaining the gun itself, first you want to fast travel to Lucky Hole Mine. And here, you want to enter the mine itself. There will be cultists here, so you want to be careful about that. So obviously, start killing cultists in here. Okay, so now you want to follow where I'm going. So you want to follow where I'm going. You want to enter the blue door. So you want to keep on going. There will be some stuff that you can take along the way. So make sure that you loot all the way around. So as you can see, this is the blue door. You want to go through this door. And in here, you want to go down. Now here. The guy that sits at the altar, he has a guaranteed chance of dropping it. So you want to kill it and take it. This guy, the one that sits on the altar, he has a guaranteed chance of dropping. So after you've killed that cultist and take his gatling gun, your next best bet would be to finish the Defiance Has Fallen, which gives you a gatling gun as a guaranteed reward for completing it plus 200 ammo for it so that is your next best option of getting it or you could just do government airdrops i think they're pretty common in those government airdrops so you know just so you know, just fast travel to any relay tower on the map and do these government supply drops over and over until you get one there's also another guaranteed spawn for it which the wiki says it is a guaranteed spawn in the Poseidon energy planet in the south side of it. I've hit that place more than 15 times in the past few days trying to find it, but I haven't got it. Like, it didn't spawn there, just nothing. So it might be removed or something, I don't know, but I think this is the only guaranteed spawn for it is a lucky hole of mine. And after this, government supply drops, it's pretty common in those. Or you could get it in mid-tier enemies like Super Mutants or uh, some cultists also have it, plus the Blood Eagle Raiders. So it's not something that you to say, you know, you can't find it or anything like that. It's pretty common. You have to just look for it. So next for the plans. The plan is rewarded to you for completing almost all of the daily events in Fallout 76, almost all of them have a chance of giving this plan to you as a reward for completing that event. I'm pretty sure you could also buy it from the vendor bot in the Vitoga station, although the chances of him selling it is pretty slim. Also the Brotherhood of Steel vendor in the White Spring Resort, he also sells it. So if you want the plan, you could buy it or you could just do daily events. It has a high chance of giving it to you as a reward, so just stick with that. Now let's do the mods. So now for the mods. As you could see this gun has 7 mods which 5 out of 7 are loose mods. Loose mods are mods that they don't require anything specific to obtain. You could obtain them by buying them. You could randomly buy its plans and mods from various vendors in game. Basically they're common. Now 2 of the mods for this gun are special. First of all the receiver. The Prime Receiver, you can only obtain that by killing the Scorched Queen. And not just, you know, shooting one bullet at it and killing her. You have to shoot the last shot at the Scorched Queen or shooting the most amount of bullets at the Scorched Queen in the event. Otherwise, it will not drop the plan when you loot her. And the plan, the Prime Receiver, could be for any weapon, not just for the Gatling gun. And also, the Extra Large Magazine. This one, you can't buy. You can buy the mod, but you cannot buy the plan. The only way that you could get the plan is by crafting a lot of it and scrapping it. You can obtain 6 out of 7 mods for this gun by scrapping the gun itself. Like I said, loose plans. Only the extra large magazine is different, which you can't buy its plan. You can buy the mod or scrap enough Gatling guns till it gives you the plan. So now guys, 
that's all for this video if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content and i will catch you on our next video